Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Decking Around Deck Specs. Today we're taking a look at the latest Svengali deck, Deadeye. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And ring the bell please. So Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about this deck? Well, Tyler, this deck is number 5 in the Svengali series. It is a collaboration between Alex Pandrea and Ido Huang. Um, it is an unspecified print run. It is printed by USPCC on Crush Stock, and it is uh, retailing for 13 bucks. Nice. Let's check it out. Dude, I love this tuck design. Uh, you know, it's really vibrant. It, it definitely gives you that spooky vibe. It was originally slated to be released for Halloween. Um, you know, so it was a little late, but it does have that, uh, you know, a Halloween vibe to it. Absolutely. It's definitely reminiscent of like a old school kind of horror movie vibe. Yeah, for sure. I love the eyes peeking through the blinds there. And that purple is really nice. Yeah, it is a beautiful purple. I love how varied the colors are and that spread is just spectacular. Yeah, those broken borders are really fun. Yeah, it's such a subtle break in it, like such a thin line. And I guess it's probably the uh, the blind line, but it looks so good. Yeah. And here's your Jokers. This definitely reminds me of the the artist Kandinsky. Yeah, I can definitely... I think Ido did a great job. Yeah, I can definitely see like a Kandinsky vibe to it. Yeah. And here you have uh, custom-ish court cards, obviously. I love the blind pattern in the back. And then, you know, your, your favorite, nice big uh, ace. Hips. Yeah. Yeah, I love those central pips with the big A's. It gives so much opportunity to have more artwork in a deck. Yeah, I think Eno did a great job, um, you know, with this color. That purple is just really fun. And just throughout uh, the court cards, just really make it pop. Yeah, no, it's a nice it's a nice look to it. And I liked how on the, uh, the Queen of Clubs there, you had a little eye at the top of one of the pips that wasn't on the King or the Jack either. Yeah, they ha there are these little details in the deck that, um, you know, I didn't show in the first half, um, you know, but I, I definitely am going to give you a little sneak peek, like the little eye right here. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's just randomly placed within, you know, several different cards uh, throughout the deck. But um, it's kind of a treat to just find what they are, you know, but you can definitely use them for, you know, tricks that you're going to do or anything like that. If you're going to use this for, uh, you know, a magician's deck as your um green and purple double backer and then you have a blank face card that green is so vibrant that's the green we saw from the tuck box as well so it kind of ties it all together but i really can't get over how simple but good that broken border looks yeah but dude i really really like this deck i think um you know ito and alex just really crushed it uh you know ito's a great designer and he's super creative he, he definitely has such a wide variety of designs absolutely um and, it, and it's fun to see what he's comes out with you know because you know we've talked about this before where you'll find a deck and you'll be like oh this is pretty cool you look on the bottom of the box and it says designed by ito Hong," and it's like guy like gets around uh, yeah you, you never know? realize never. it until you look and you're like oh it's another ito deck and he's and i do love the fact that his style is so varied i mean you look at previous Svengali decks, they all have their own style to them, but in reality, they're all decks by Ido. Even between Sky Island and this one here, so the fourth Svengali Sky Island, and then Deadeye here, that the style is so different. This almost has like a old school, like cartoon horror vibe, which I really just absolutely yeah. love. And you can see it in like I like Scooby Doo. Yeah, like it really does have. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's a perfect example. It really does have kind of like a Scooby Doo yeah. vibe to it. I really dig it. I think this is probably one of my favorite like Halloween decks for the year, no questions. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I think it's really fun, and uh, it definitely got the spooky vibe down. Yeah, for sure, no doubt. Well, thanks everyone for checking out this episode of Decking Around Deck Specs. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We drop these every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, giving you a fresh look at the newest decks, so keep an eye out.